Hey guys, um, so I most likely will not be making videos a couple per week, but um, I was actually doing a little more research, found another way to make a cleaning solution that is faster. Um, you can use it faster than the other. So I have everything ready today. Um, so I have my glass spray bottle. I have the juice from the lemons and limes that I got from last the last time. Um, I have water and I have vinegar. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna do a half a cup of water, a half a cup of vinegar, and then I'm gonna do the rest with just uh, lemon and lime juice. And I'm gonna see how that works out. So, here we go. some lime juice adding lemon juice I actually think just because that was only about half I'm gonna add a little bit more vinegar and then the rest is just gonna be fresh squeezed juice Okay, I'm gonna get this cleaned up and I'll spray it. I'll do a video um, of cleaning a couple of things and show you guys how it works. Okay, so I'm back. The counter is all clean. Um, I have a couple of things that we're gonna try out. So first of all, I have some olive oil, I have honey, and I have milk, just because those things can sometimes be difficult to clean up. So, I'm just going to pour a little bit onto my countertop. So there's the oil. There's the honey. Don't want to waste too much of this. And let's see. There's a little bit of milk. I'm going to let the milk sit for a few minutes see how that goes. I'm actually going to let all of this sit for just a few minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to pause you guys and I'll come back in just a couple of minutes and um, I'll spray. I have my bottle right here. Got it all shaken up. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. And we'll see how it goes. Okay. So this has been sitting for a few minutes. So first of all, we are going to be cleaning up the honey, which is right over here. Now, normally I don't use napkins, but normally I also don't clean up honey and oil, so I'm not gonna use my um, cloths for that. So, I'm just gonna So you can see I still have, well, you can't really see the milk, but the milk's over there. It's hardened a little bit. Um, here's the oil. Here is where the honey was. Um, I've wiped it away and this is extremely clean. Um, like it feels cleaner than everywhere else on my counter where I've been using regular cleaning products, um, store-bought cleaning products. So I'm really, really happy with the way that it cleaned the honey because normally I have to use like soap and water to get honey off of the counter. Okay, so now we are going in with the oil. Okay, okay, so sprayed it on the oil. Okay, 
Again, that cleaned up very quickly and it got everything up. My counter feels wet, but it doesn't feel oily at all. So I'm really, really impressed with that. And then lastly is the milk. You can see a little bit of it. So I'm just gonna spray it again. Sorry guys, that was a terrible view. But um, cleaning up the milk now. And again, a very good clean. Okay, so overall, um, I think this did a really, really, really good job. Also, you guys can't smell it, but it does smell really good. It doesn't smell vinegary um, at all. It smells like straight citrus, um, and it did a really good job cleaning. So um, I'll just keep using it on some other surfaces, and if I have any other critiques on it, I'll give you guys um an answer later but as far as the other one goes i think it's going to be better on cleaning like dirty surfaces just because it's more vinegar so this one is more so just cleaning up everyday spills stuff like that um i'd probably use the other one in the bathroom but we still have about four weeks to wait and see i have given it a couple of sniffs to see what it smells like today um and it smells really good. There's no vinegar smell, like hardly any vinegar smell, which I'm really surprised about. So I'm excited to see what it'll smell like in four weeks. But anyway, I just wanted to add this one on here as my counter has dried. I'm very impressed. <laughs> All right, well, see you guys in the next video. Hope you liked this one. Like I said, this one was a bit easier, but it's nice to be able to do something with the juice as well as the peels, because otherwise you're not really doing anything with the peels unless you're composting or something like that. Um, so it is still sustainable. It just takes a little bit longer um, to be able to use it, but I'm very happy with the results of this one and I'll be using it daily.